Wow, it's been a while. So, where have I been? Guys, I just want to do a quick update video to give you an update of where I've been for almost a year. I've slowly started to add more videos to the channel, but for almost a year, uh, I, I've been busy or gone uh, away from my channel, and, and I apologize for that. So again, just a quick update to explain where I've been, why I've been gone, and what we're doing with the channel now. But before I get into that, guys, please, per usual, if you like the content that I put out, guys, please subscribe to the channel, bell for notifications, like the video, all the things. So, let's get into it. Crypto. <laughs> As you all know, about a year, a little over a year ago, the crypto market went into a straight bull cycle. And the reality is that started consuming a lot of my time. Uh, guys, I'm a regular person, and if there's any way I can find to make mine and Courtney's life easier, I'm gonna try and do it. And, and, and in my honest opinion, crypto is one of those ways. So when the bull market took off, I literally spent as much time as I could trading, which means I'm in front of charts, staring at computer screens, almost 24 hours a day. And that's just what it is when you're trading, especially in a bull market, you're trying to make the most of it. You know, uh, you know I think anybody who, who's looking for a way to, to change their life should start learning about crypto and how to trade it. it it's, it's literally a once in a lifetime opportunity to, to make some kind of life changing money. And I'm in the same boat, right? You know, I'm just a regular guy like you guys out there. I'm, I'm not balling out of control. I, I use budget gear, you guys all know this. On top of that, guys, uh, then I got sucked into the NFT space, you know that, and I just got deeper and deeper into the NFT space, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing by any means. I'm a creative, and if you're a creative as well, the NFT space is not a bad place to be. Again, you have not only a, a great potential to basically become part of a really cool community and build your own community as well, uh, but again, as a creative, you have an opportunity to make life changing money, man. And why not do it? I, I don't, I don't see a reason for anyone who's a creative to not be doing it and learning about it. So on top of that, in the midst of it all, uh, of, of trading crypto, learning about NFTs, getting out into the NFT space, I launched my own NFT project, which is BBP. Boy, we'll talk about this in a second. But BBP, Basic Bro Photographers, in a nutshell, it's the closest thing I could do uh, on my own as a photographer to compete with 10,000 generated projects. If you don't know what that is, do a little bit of research, you'll learn. These are you know projects like Bored Apes, um, CryptoPunks, et cetera, et cetera. And being just a photographer, I came up with my own creative way to to get into that space, and that is the basic bro photographers. The project itself is completely sold out, which is awesome, and, and a big thank you to any of you out there that are watching this that are holders of that project. If you are interested in, in being part of the, the BBP guys, uh, you can buy a BBP uh, NFT on OpenSea uh, on the secondary market. I know there are they're climbing in price um, regularly, but they're still out there. People still have some for sale. So if it's something you're interested in doing, I'll include a link down below to the uh, Basic Bro Photographers NFT OpenSea page. Um, in the midst of, of creating uh, BBP and, and trying to find creative ways to uh, keep the project fun and interesting for people who are holders, I came out with the BBP clothing line, uh, which is kind of like a new rebranding for myself. It's what I'm wearing right now. Um, so the clothing line itself, the BBP, we, we've got, a, look at this, we got a bunch of stuff, guys. We've got all sorts of cool t-shirts. I'm just gonna go through a couple here just for shits and giggles. Boom. Got the hot pink. So, and, and since this was uh, originally an NFT, I've done shirts that are kind of goofy like this. Like, do you even NFT, bro? Get it? And if it's an NFT project, and it's called the Basic Bro Photographers. Do you NFT, bro? I'm an idiot. What do you want me to tell you? We got a bunch of stuff. We got shirts. We got pullover hoodies. We've got zip-up hoodies. 
We've got zip up hoodies. There's the back and all sorts of colors and stuff. We've got, we've even got joggers. Boy, BVP for life, yo, look at that. We've got joggers. We even have, guys, we've got koozies. Like we've got koozies for your drinks to keep your beers nice and icy cold or your sodas for those of you out there that don't drink or can't drink. Anyway, the reality is I wanted to do something different. I wanted to bring something to my channel, to, to my brand, to the NFT project that could continue going besides being just an NFT. Um, and that's where BBP came from. Um, and it literally can mean whatever you want it to mean, but it's literally a brand for people that are just trying to find their place and, and be creative. Um, and that's what I'm doing, you know, everything you're gonna see me doing from here on out in the channel is gonna be just adding to. The explanation of what I've got going on is, this is the BBP channel now, guys. Um, and everything is encompassing what, you know, the Nick Shepard, and, and if you've been following me for a long time, the I Alone Project is. It is all of the creative aspects into one. Everything that I've done and, and the people I work with and the things that we do, the channel, the, the NFTs, the crypto, the clothing, the photography, the videography, all the I Alone project, this is just another aspect of that. And it's something I do for everyone out there. Um, so with that being said, again, I, I will be including a link down below to the BBP threads. If you guys wanna get your hands on some BBP gear, it's not expensive stuff, guys, it's, and it's decent stuff, and it's all made to order, so heads up, if you do order it, there I'm using a company that, that they, they make it to order, so if, if you don't get your right size or anything like that, you can't send it back, unfortunately. I just want you guys to know that before you purchase it. But I made this stuff super, super inexpensive compared to regular clothing that's out there uh, in the world. Um, so yeah, from here on out, you're gonna see a lot of BBP stuff. Aside from that, guys, what am I doing with the channel? Well, I got burned out. Uh, to be entirely honest, I got really burned out. Look, how many gear reviews or unbox, I don't even like doing reviews. I hate doing reviews. I'm not a review guy, I'm not that technical. But unboxings uh, of, of new cameras, et cetera, et cetera, new microphones. I got burned out. I mean, how many times can you do that stuff? And on top of it, again, I don't buy a lot of gear. Uh, I, I don't have the funds or the budget to, to buy every new camera that comes out or every new lens that comes out and do a review on it or an unboxing on it and, and act like I'm using it in my day to day. I don't, you guys, and I, I'm just being transparent with you. Um, maybe one day if the channel gets that big and I have that budget, I'll do that if that's what you guys want. But right now it just didn't make sense. So I got burned out uh, on trying to come up with new creative ways to show you the same shit I've got. That's just the honest uh, point of it. As well as, look, there's a, there's a bone I've got to pick with, with people that are in my field. Look, guys, every year, camera companies and, and video uh, gear companies, they are all coming out with new stuff every year, which makes you guys out there, I'm assuming, think that you have to have the latest gear. You don't. You guys, you really don't. You can still shoot tons of quality stuff on gear from years ago. But they've created this really nasty, vicious cycle that I've seen of where they put out a new camera every so, like, like literally every year now. And then people on YouTube or influencers, whatever you wanna call us, get their hands on it and do a review and make it look super sexy to where now you want it, you gotta go buy it. And, and it's just this nasty cycle, right? So where they, they get these cameras for free, they do, and it's just, look, I ain't gonna sell you the bullshit. It, you guys don't need to buy a new camera every year. So it's, it's just not a road I was really hungry to go down. Again, I'll continue to tell you what gear I use. It, if I upgrade stuff, I'll let you know what it is and if I like it and what it, what it does, and et cetera, et cetera. But I really just didn't wanna become that channel that does that, that, that every time, a, a new lens comes out or a new camera comes out, I'm gonna do some sexy cinematic reel to make you guys wanna go out and get it and put the link in the description down below so you can buy it from, from my affiliate link, et cetera, et cetera. I, I just didn't feel like doing that. So I, I kind of got this mindset of where do I want the channel to go? What, what do I wanna do? 
And the reality is, I just want to enjoy my life. Look, me and Courtney do a lot of fun stuff. I get some really cool opportunities from time to time to go shoot some really cool things and some really cool people. So there's going to be a lot more vlogs coming out on my channel. And I don't know if that's something you guys want or don't want, but it's, it's what, for the channel in that aspect, it's kind of what I want because I, I want you guys to see how much you can enjoy life with just minimal gear. Uh, as well as I'm going to be breaking away from shooting a lot of the vlog stuff with my, my main camera. Uh, a lot of the stuff is going to be shot on GoPros. The footage is going to suck. I'm going to be honest with you, GoPro footage is not that good. But what it does allow me to, right now at least with where we're at with the channel, is be able to get you more content. Look, running around shooting vlog videos on an A7 III with a cage, flying a gimbal with a screen, it's just not feasible to do by myself. You know, if you know anything about me and, and Courtney and our lifestyle, you know, it, it's I'm one guy. I don't have a crew. And when me and Courtney go somewhere together, you know, I, there's a ton of stuff that I've got to help her with because of her situation. And it's just not feasible. So I had to, I had to brainstorm and come up with like, what, what can I do to continue to, to give you guys content that's entertaining, but as well as make it easier for me to film. And, and the, the best idea I could come up with was GoPros. And again, not worrying about how sexy it is or how good the video looks. Look, I can make good looking videos. We've all seen it, you know, as well as anyone can. But I want you guys to be there and see what it is that I'm doing. And again, the easiest way, a small, simple, quick, light, easy to carry GoPro was the way to go. So again, a lot of vlogs, a lot of lifestyle stuff, guys. I do a lot of fun, stupid shit, and I wanna film it and show you guys it and, and have a blast doing it. And again, I, I'm gonna do camera stuff and, and, and cinematic reel stuff, etc., etc. et uh, still, when it happens. I don't want to force it. I don't want to try and sit and stress out about, oh, I haven't done a video this week. I've got to come up with a tutorial or I've got to come up with some kind of cool cinematic reel and show you guys like how I did it or what I used to do it. It's just not worth it and it's not who I am. And, and I hope you guys are down for, for, for the direction I'm going to take this channel. On top of that, I'm going to start focusing on a lot more of my music creative side as well and start working with some local bands here in the Chattanooga area, uh, finding ways to incorporate them as well as my musical recording uh, capabilities and writing capabilities to try and bring some lights to the local talent here and just have fun myself. So that's it, y'all. Um, a lot more vlog stuff, a lot more lifestyle stuff. Uh, just having fun, man. You know, just enjoying life. And I hope you guys come along for the ride. But besides that, that's it, man. Um, I'm back. I alone. The Nick Shepherd. BVP. I'm back, y'all. Uh, Courtney has agreed to become a, a big part of the channel as well. Look, love her to death. The girl hates to be on camera, which I understand. It's not for everybody. But she's a huge part of my life, so she's agreed um, to be part of the channel, like I said. And we brainstormed some really fun ideas, trips, things that we're into. Like, we've got a new hair for butt that we're really into fishing. So we've done some really stupid things trying to fish and she's having a blast, I'm having a blast, but a lot of stuff to come. I, I said a quick update video, this doesn't feel like it's that quick, but a lot of information to get out there. Besides that, I hope you guys are enjoying the stuff that I'm doing, that's why I do it, you know. Um, it, it's just to entertain people, man. I, I, like, I like people to be entertained, I like people to have a good time and enjoy their lives. And if that is what you're getting out of my channel, awesome, that's what I want. So, per usual, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell for notifications, leave me a comment, man. And BBP, link to BBP in the, the description below, as well as anything else that I've talked about tonight. So, all right, y'all. See you next video. Next time I decide to get creative. Stay creative. Don't stop being creative. See you guys next time. Deuces.